big breakthrough for gene editing, okay? Scientists were able to correct a defect in, in a human embryo. Judge Napolitano is with us. This is a radical thing. Yes, it, it opens the door. Let's cut straight to it. It opens the door to designer babies. Yes, it does. Is there a legal problem with that? At the present time, there's a legal problem with that. The Congress can't tell the Food and Drug Administration what to do because it's an independent agency, but it can prohibit it from spending money on certain things. And it has prohibited the Food and Drug Administration from spending money on the registration of gene editing. Therefore, gene editing cannot be done commercially in the United States of America at the present time. And if it is to come about, as I understand, and I've been cramming my brain with a lot of scientific material, not necessarily my strength, uh, in the past a couple of hours, we're five or ten years uh, away from that. But the genie is out of the bottle. Exactly. And if it doesn't happen here, and a rich couple wants a designer baby, they may go to Shanghai and have it done there, and then come back here and have the baby here. So, so I don't know where this is going to end. It is the beginning of a brave new world. It may be the beginning of a dark new world. We don't know. But we need a legal framework. We're going to have to have that. Well, we probably will. We probably will have a legal framework. Will we be ahead of the rest of the world, or will we be behind it? Under what circumstances will the government permit gene editing? Because you want a baby with blonde hair and and blue eyes who's going to go to Princeton instead of the London School of Economics? <laughs> Kidding, of course, about that. But think about the type of editing that would come about. Right now, the editing that was done and that was reported was to remove a, a mutant yep. gene yep. which would pass uh, an inheritable disease from parent to child to, to child. That's a very good thing. But what about if you tweak the genes to tweak the personality or tweak the body? And if that happens, will only the rich be able to, uh, to have it? And if that happens, will the government provide it under a single-payer system to everybody? I mean, there's, there's no way to know where this is going to end up. Well, you're a free market guy. Do you just favor a free market in this? If you can edit that gene, edit it. You and know, the government will get out of the I, way. I don't, you favor want, that? I don't want to punt on this, but I haven't had enough time to think about it. These experiments were done by the union of a sperm and an egg in a petri dish, not, right. not in a human body. And the result was not implanted into a woman's womb. So this was the destruction of the union of a sperm and an egg. If you believe that that is immoral, if you believe life begins at the moment of that union, then you think there's an ethical problem with this. On the other hand, if you think that a lot of good can come from this and a lot of suffering can be alleviated and life uh, can be enhanced, then you, then you laud the manner in which it was done. Pandora's I box has just been opened. It, it, Exactly. Couldn't have said it better. And we it need is, you lawyers to figure it I out. Know, what but it, it is. is rare that I will say about something you said that I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see it at 11 and yes. you can try again. <laughs> Very right. good, Mr. Vaughn.